<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial showing you all if you have a modified PlayStation TV or PlayStation Vita, how you can play higher firmware games without having to use compatibility packs or having to upgrade your firmware. This is going to be using the tool Refood, which is quite simple to set up, really easy to use, and once you put it on, you can really forget about it. So again, this is going to require a Vita or a PlayStation TV, and is going to need to be modified in some way. So if you're using H Encore, Trendy, or Hinkaku, that is totally up to you. In this example, this PlayStation TV I'm using has the original 3.60 modification on it, so you can see Molecular Shell right there. So this is running 3.60 Hinkaku with Enzo installed on it. Now the problem that I'm running into is I have Shakedown Hawaii, a game which I just picked up, and it requires a higher firmware because it came out quite recently. So even if you have a game installed on here and you have no NPDRM and everything, you might run into an error like this, which I will go ahead and demonstrate by popping the game into the system. So as you can see, I just popped in Shakedown Hawaii. Now if we try and play it, we end up getting this error. And this will happen whether you have the game installed through no NPDRM or if you have it through a cartridge. And the nice thing is this will fix it from anything. So if you're playing the game from a SD to Vita, from your memory stick or from a cartridge, this should work just fine. So for this, we can exit out of here, and we can now install Refood one of two ways. So the first way would be through Auto Plugin. If you followed my tutorial, you can do this, and it's pretty easy to do so. If you want to use Auto Plugin, again, I'll have a link down below for that in the description, but you can simply go to Plugins for Vita, Install Plugins, and navigate all the way down to where Refood is going to be. And once you're here, you can simply press the X button to install it, exit out of this application, and restart your Vita, and it will be installed. However, I'm also going to show you the manual way, just in case you do not want to use Auto Plugin to install Refood and you want to set it up yourself. For this, we will need to transfer and edit files between our computer and our Vita. So for this, I'm going to exit out of Auto Plugin. Make sure you have a way of connecting your system to your PC and launch Vita Shell. Once you're in Vita Shell, press the start button, select what type you want to use, whether you want to use FTP or USB. For this, I'm going to be using FTP as my preferred file transfer method. So once you have that decided, press the select button and either hook up your system to your computer or connect to it using FTP. When you're at your PC, go down below to the links in the description, and I'm going to have a link for Refood where you can download it. So for this, just go down to the releases, and there's two files you need to download. The first one is going to be refood.skprx. Just click this to download it. The second one is going to be keys.bin. Click this right here, and download it from Mediafire and save it somewhere. Once you have your files downloaded, you should have your refood plugin and your keys.bin. Those are the only two you need. Once you connect to your system using FTP, I'm going to be using WinSCP to do this. Make sure on the left you have your two files, and on the right you have your Vita system right here. Now, normally you should, it's best practice to have everything in UR0. So for this, go into UR0, Go down to tie and transfer over the two files that we'll need. Transfer over keys and transfer over refood. And that's it. So now once we have those downloaded, we're also going to need to change our configuration file. So you can either download this, edit it, and then upload it back. Or if you want to, you can just edit it from here. For this, type in the following. Make sure first it's going to be a kernel plugin. Make sure it's underneath no NPDRM, and you're going to type in UR0 colon tie forward slash refood dot skprx, and then save it. And it just uploaded it there. So make sure that it is spelled exactly. If you even need to copy and paste the file name and put it in, that would be the safest way. We can now close out of that, and it's been transferred. With that done, we can now close out of WinSCP and go back over to the Vita. Over at the Vita, cancel out of this, 
and now restart your console. Once your system restarts, if you're not using Enzo, make sure you launch whatever exploit you need to get your system modified again, and now go over to the problematic game, which was not working before. And if we wait, check this out, we're not getting an error, and the game should load up just fine. So there we go. As you can see, the game is booting up and working, and we're not in game, but we at least have it booting up just fine. So that's about all you need to do for this. Again, the real cool thing about this is you're able to set this up one time. That's literally all we had to do to set it up. And now every single game that requires a higher firmware than your Vita will work without any trouble. It can be games that you have officially installed. It could be games that you have installed using no NP DRM. It could be games from a cartridge, but whatever it is, you can now play them on your system without having to update with no issues. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. And finally, I'd like to give a big shout out and thank you to the developers behind ReFood. It is a nice, small, simple, but really awesome and powerful plugin, which I recommend any Vita owner, if you have your modified system, should install this. So if you have a Vita, you're really doing yourself a disservice if you don't have it installed. I'd recommend just doing it now, because if you don't run into a problematic game now, you will in the future, and that will not be a problem once you have ReFood situated and running on your system. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off real this time. Later, everyone.